Easy Rider, a groundbreaking film of the 1960s counterculture movement, hit the screens in 1969. The actor Dennis Hopper took on the role of director for this classic, also starring alongside Peter Fonda in the leading parts. This film not only showcased their exceptional acting skills, but also marked Hopper's directorial debut, making it a significant milestone in his career. The story, characters, and direction in Easy Rider continue to resonate with movie enthusiasts, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. As we delve deeper into this captivating film, we'll explore its direction, casting, and the memorable performances that made it truly iconic. In this exploration, we'll discuss how Hopper's innovative direction shaped the film's narrative and visual style, drawing audiences into the world of 1960s counterculture. Furthermore, we'll analyze the casting choices, focusing on the compelling chemistry between Fonda and Hopper, which contributed to the film's enduring appeal. By examining these aspects, we aim to shed light on the film's lasting impact and the elements that make Easy Rider a must-watch for any film aficionado. The feud between Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper, both key figures in the creation of the groundbreaking film Easy Rider, is a long and complex one. The controversy surrounding the script's origin and credit has been a source of tension between the two actors for decades. Peter Fonda has claimed that the idea for the script came solely from him and his personal experiences. However, Dennis Hopper has stated that he deserves sole screenwriting credit for the film. This dispute has led to a lifelong feud between the two, which lasted until their deaths. The making of Easy Rider was a pivotal moment in both actors' careers, and the film is considered a classic of the counterculture era. The story of two bikers traveling across America, and the struggles they face is still relevant today. Despite the feud, the film remains a testament to the talent and vision of both Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper. The film's success and enduring legacy are a result of the hard work and dedication of both actors, regardless of who came up with the original idea or who deserves the writing credit. The film's impact on the industry and popular culture is undeniable. It transcended the boundaries of traditional Hollywood filmmaking and paved the way for a new generation of filmmakers. The film's themes of freedom, individuality, and rebellion continue to resonate with audiences today. In the end, the feud between Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper serves as a reminder of the complex and often contentious relationships that can exist in the world of filmmaking. Despite the disagreements and controversies, the film stands as a classic and a testament to the talent and vision of two remarkable actors. Dennis Hopper, the actor known for his role in Easy Rider, left an indelible mark on 1960s counterculture and cinema. The film, made on a shoestring budget of less than half a million dollars, went on to make over 60 million, defying all expectations. Much of Easy Rider's success can be attributed to its loose, improvised feel, which was a deliberate choice by the film's creators. The actor, Dennis Hopper, who also directed the film, encouraged his co-stars to ad-lib their lines and contribute to the script. This approach gave the film a natural, authentic quality that resonated with audiences. The film's production was not without its challenges. However, there were reports of clashes between Hopper and his co-star, Peter Fonda, as well as issues with drug use on set. Despite these difficulties, Easy Rider became a cultural phenomenon, capturing the zeitgeist of the 1960s and inspiring a new generation of filmmakers. Looking back, it's easy to see why Easy Rider had such a profound impact its themes of freedom, rebellion, and individuality spoke to a generation of young people who were eager to break away from traditional values and embrace a new way of life. The film's iconic imagery, from the choppers ridden by Hopper and Fonda to the breathtaking landscapes they traversed, has become etched in the annals of film history. In many ways, Easy Rider was a harbinger of things to come. Its success paved the way for a new wave of American cinema that privileged character-driven stories and naturalistic acting over spectacle and special effects. The film's influence can still be felt today in everything from independent cinema to mainstream blockbusters. In the end, Easy Rider's legacy is a testament to the power of art to capture the spirit of a moment in time. The film's enduring appeal is a reminder that, even in the face of adversity and uncertainty, there is always room for innovation, creativity, and rebellion. And for that, we owe a debt of gratitude to Dennis Hopper and his co-conspirators who dared to dream big and create something truly extraordinary. Terry Southern, who was also known for his work on Dr. Strange Love, played a significant role in shaping the script of Easy Rider, the groundbreaking 1969 film. However, Peter Fonda, one of the leading actors in the movie, later claimed that he was the sole writer of the script. 
having written it under the influence of LSD and other drugs. Southern's account of the script writing process differs from Fonda's. According to Southern, there was no solid script when he joined the project. Instead, he worked with Fonda and the film's director, Dennis Hopper, to develop the story and dialogue as they filmed. Southern's contributions included many of the film's most memorable lines, such as this used to be the best part of America. Now it's all motorcycles. Despite the disagreement over who wrote the script, there is no denying the impact that Easy Rider had on American cinema. The film, which follows two bikers as they travel across the country in search of freedom, helped to define the counterculture movement of the 1960s and paved the way for future independent films. The actor, Dennis Hopper, who played one of the bikers, was also a key figure in the film's success. Hopper, who had previously worked with Southern on Dr. Strange Love, brought a raw, improvisational style to his performance that helped to create a sense of authenticity and immediacy. In the end, Easy Rider remains a classic example of the power of cinema to capture the spirit of a generation and to challenge conventional ideas about American society and culture. Whether it was Southern, Fonda, or Hopper who wrote the script, the film's impact is undeniable and continues to resonate with audiences today. The film Easy Rider brought Dennis Hopper, Peter Fonda, and Terry Southern together in a collaborative effort for the script. However, this partnership was not without its complications. In the early 1990s, Dennis Hopper sued Peter Fonda over the screenwriting credit for the film. The lawsuit was a result of a dispute over the extent of each actor's contribution to the script. The film, which was released in 1969, became a classic of its time and remains popular today. It was a groundbreaking movie that explored themes of freedom and counterculture. The script, which was credited to all three actors, was a key element in the film's success. One of the most memorable scenes in the film is the one where Dennis Hopper forces Peter Fonda to confront his mother's suicide. The scene is a traumatic one, and it highlights the complex relationship between the two characters. It is a powerful moment in the film, and it is a testament to the talent of the actors involved. Despite the legal disputes that arose after the film's release, there is no denying the impact that Easy Rider had on American cinema. The film remains a classic, and it continues to inspire new generations of filmmakers and actors. Through his work in Easy Rider and other films, Dennis Hopper established himself as a talented actor and director. His contributions to the world of cinema will not be forgotten, and his legacy lies on through his work. The scene where Hopper forces Fonda to confront his mother's suicide is a powerful moment in the film, and it is a testament to the talent of the actors involved. The scene is a traumatic one, and it highlights the complex relationship between the two characters. It is a powerful moment in the film, and it is a reminder of the impact that cinema can have on its audience. In the end, the legal disputes that arose after the film's release did not overshadow the success of Easy Rider. The film remains a classic, and it continues to inspire new generations of filmmakers and actors. The contributions of Dennis Hopper, Peter Fonda, and Terry Southern to the world of cinema will not be forgotten and their legacy lives on through their work. The feud between Dennis Hopper and Peter Fonda, his co-star in the groundbreaking 1969 film Easy Rider, is a well-known tale in Hollywood. This classic counterculture film, which explores themes of freedom and non-conformity, ironically sparked a decades-long dispute between the two actors over screenwriting credit. At the heart of the conflict was the screenplay of Easy Rider, which both Hopper and Fonda claimed to have significantly contributed to. However, only Fonda received official credit as the film's screenwriter, while Hopper was credited as the director. This led to a deep-seated resentment that lasted for years, even after Hopper's death in 2010. In a shocking turn of events, Hopper barred Fonda from his funeral, showcasing the depth of their feud. The decision stunned many in the film industry, as the two actors had once been close friends and collaborators. Despite the irony of a film that celebrated freedom, and individuality leading to a bitter feud. Easy Rider remains a classic in American cinema. The film's themes and iconic imagery continue to resonate with audiences today, even as the feud between its two stars remains unresolved. In the ever-evolving world of cinema, Dennis Hopper stands out as a true maverick. Born on May 17, 1936, in Dodge City, Kansas, Hopper embarked on a journey that would leave an indelible mark on the film industry. After studying at the prestigious Actors Studio in New York, Hopper moved to Los Angeles and quickly found work in television and film. However, it was his role in the groundbreaking 1969 film Easy Rider that catapulted him to stardom. As the co-writer, director, and star of the film, 
Hopper helped to define a generation and cement his place in Hollywood history. Throughout his career, Hopper worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors in the business, including Francis Ford Coppola, David Lynch, and Jack Nicholson. He was known for his versatile acting style, which ranged from intense and brooding to wild and unpredictable. In addition to his work in front of the camera, Hopper was also an accomplished artist and photographer. His work has been exhibited in galleries and museums around the world, and he was even commissioned to create a series of paintings for the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. Despite his success, Hopper remained a true rebel throughout his life. He was never afraid to speak his mind or take risks, both on and off screen. His enduring legacy is a testament to his talent, creativity, and fearless spirit. Dennis Hopper was born in Dodge City, Kansas in 1936. His father, Jay, was a post office worker, and his mother, Marjorie, was a lifelong homemaker. The family soon moved to Kansas City, Missouri, where Hopper spent his formative years. As a child, he was captivated by movies and often put on shows for his family and friends. Hopper's first exposure to acting came in high school, where he participated in school plays. He was a natural performer and quickly caught the attention of his teachers. After graduation, Hopper enrolled in the Actors Studio in New York City, where he studied under some of the most renowned acting coaches of the time. One of Hopper's earliest mentors was the legendary actor James Dean. The two met while working on the film Rebel Without a Cause in 1955. Dean became a close friend and confidant, and Hopper credited him with teaching him the importance of method acting. Another key influence on Hopper's career was director Henry Hathaway. Hopper worked with Hathaway on the film From Hell to Texas in 1958, and the director became a father figure to the young actor. Hathaway taught Hopper the importance of discipline and hard work, and he encouraged Hopper to take risks and push himself as an artist. Throughout his career, Hopper continued to seek out new challenges and explore different aspects of his craft. He worked with some of the most accomplished directors and actors of his time, including Francis Ford Coppola, Wim Wenders, and Sean Penn. Hopper's work resonated with audiences and critics alike, and his legacy as a versatile and enduring actor continues to inspire new generations of performers. Growing up in Dodge City, Kansas, Dennis Hopper found solace in the local theater. At nine years old, he saw his first play, Our Town, and was captivated by the power of live performance. This experience ignited a spark in Hopper, fueling his passion for acting. By age 13, Hopper's family had moved to Kansas City, Missouri. There, he discovered method acting through the works of Stanislavski and Strasberg. He began performing in high school plays, captivating audiences with his raw emotion and intensity. Hopper's teachers recognized his talent and encouraged him to pursue a career in the arts. In 1955, Hopper enrolled in the Actors Studio in New York City, where he honed his craft alongside legends like Marlon Brando and James Dean. During this period, Hopper appeared in several Broadway productions, further solidifying his love for the stage. However, it was his role in the 1969 film Easy Rider that catapulted Hopper to stardom. As both an actor and director, Hopper pushed the boundaries of cinema creating a counterculture classic that resonated with audiences worldwide. This pivotal moment in Hopper's career not only solidified his status as a Hollywood icon, but also served as a testament to his unwavering dedication to his craft. Dennis Hopper, a name synonymous with rebellion and raw talent, faced numerous challenges in his early career. Born on May 17, 1936, in Dodge City, Kansas, Hopper's journey to stardom was strewn with obstacles. Raised in San Diego, California, Hopper's fascination with acting began at a young age. However, his path to success was far from smooth. Financial struggles were a constant companion in his early life. Despite these hardships, Hopper remained undeterred, fueled by an unwavering passion for his craft. Hopper's unique acting style, often characterized by unpredictability and intensity, initially faced skepticism from the industry. His unconventional approach was met with resistance, making it difficult for him to secure roles. Yet, Hopper refused to conform, choosing instead to hone his craft and stay true to his artistic vision. In the face of industry skepticism, Hopper turned to directing. His directorial debut, Easy Rider, became a cultural phenomenon. The film, which he also co-wrote and starred in, encapsulated the zeitgeist of the 1960s counterculture movement. The success of Easy Rider not only solidified Hopper's place in Hollywood, but also challenged the industry's preconceived notions about him. Despite the odds, Dennis Hopper's resilience and creative solutions paved the way for his success. 
His story serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of staying true to one's artistic vision. In 1955, a young Dennis Hopper landed his first major film role in Rebel Without a Cause, starring alongside James Dean. This breakthrough marked the beginning of a promising career for Hopper, who was deeply influenced by Dean's method acting approach. A few years later, Hopper's career took a turn when he was fired from the set of the picture showman due to creative differences with the director. This experience led Hopper to direct his own films, allowing him to showcase his unique vision and creative voice. In 1969, Hopper directed, wrote, and starred in Easy Rider, a counterculture film that became a cultural phenomenon. The film, which explores themes of freedom and the American dream, earned Hopper a Best Original Screenplay nomination at the Academy Awards. Roger Ebert, a renowned film critic, praised Hopper's work in Easy Rider, stating, Hopper's direction is assured and original, and he gets performances of surprising depth from his cast. Hopper's career continued to flourish in the 1980s and 1990s, with notable roles in films such as Apocalypse Now, Blue Velvet, and Hoosiers. His performances in these films showcased his versatility and range as an actor, earning him critical acclaim and recognition from his peers. In an interview with The Guardian, actor Willem Dafoe, who worked with Hopper in The American Friend, described him as a real artist, a real actor, a real filmmaker, a real painter, a real photographer. Throughout his career, Dennis Hopper's breakthrough moments showcased his unique vision and creative voice, leaving a lasting impact on the world of cinema. Dennis Hopper was an actor who brought a unique artistic vision to his work. He didn't just act, he also directed, wrote, and produced films, giving him a well-rounded perspective on the creative process. Hopper's approach to his work was unconventional and often rebellious, which was reflected in the controversial and thought-provoking films he created. Hopper's personal experiences and worldview were deeply intertwined with his art. He was a product of his time growing up in the 1950s and coming of age during the counterculture movement of the 1960s. This influenced his perspective on society and politics, which was often reflected in his films. For example, his film Easy Rider was a reflection of the hippie movement and the cultural upheaval of the time. Hopper's artistic process was heavily influenced by his background in art and photography. He often used improvisation and spontaneity in his work, allowing for a more raw and authentic feel he also had a knack for discovering new talent and giving opportunities to young and upcoming actors. One of the things that made Hopper's style unique was his ability to balance the chaos and unpredictability of his creative process with a strong sense of control and vision. He was known for his intense and sometimes volatile personality, but he was also a perfectionist who demanded the best from himself and those around him. In conclusion, Dennis Hopper was an actor and filmmaker who brought a unique an unconventional approach to his work. His personal experiences and worldview were deeply intertwined with his art, and he was known for his ability to balance chaos and control in his creative process. Through his films, Hopper left a lasting impact on the world of cinema and will always be remembered as a true artistic visionary. Dennis Hopper's impact and influence on the film industry are significant. Known for his unconventional and rebellious roles, Hopper helped shape the counterculture of the 1960s and 1970s. His directorial debut, Easy Rider, is a testament to his contribution to the new Hollywood wave. Hopper's acting style was unique and often intense. According to fellow actor and director Peter Fonda, Dennis brought a raw energy to every role he played. He was a true original. This energy is evident in Hopper's performance in Blue Velvet, where he played the menacing Frank Booth. His portrayal left a lasting impact on audiences and fellow actors alike. Hopper's influence extends beyond his acting and directing. He was a pioneer in using improvisation in his films. In Easy Rider, he and Fonda ad-libbed much of their dialogue, which added to the film's authenticity. This approach to filmmaking was revolutionary at the time and has since been adopted by many directors. Moreover, Hopper was a champion of independent filmmaking. He used his influence to help other independent filmmakers get their projects off the ground. His support for up-and-coming filmmakers has had a ripple effect, inspiring a new generation of directors to tell their stories. In addition, Hopper's personal life and style also had a significant impact on popular culture. His bohemian lifestyle, rebellious attitude, and eclectic taste in art and music made him a cultural icon. His influence can be seen in everything from fashion to music to graphic design. In conclusion, Dennis Hopper's contribution to the film industry is undeniable. 
His acting, directing, and advocacy for independent filmmaking have left a lasting impact on the industry and popular culture. As filmmaker and actor Gus Van Sant puts it, Dennis Hopper was a force of nature. He pushed boundaries and inspired so many of us to do the same. Dennis Hopper was known for his wild personality both on and off screen. He was a passionate art collector and often incorporated his love for art into his work. Hopper's personal life was as colorful as his on-screen characters. He was married five times and had four children. Hopper was also a dedicated philanthropist. He was passionate about children's causes and supported various organizations, including the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, the Museum of Contemporary Art, and the Children's Action Network. Hopper was also a vocal advocate for environmental causes and supported the Natural Resources Defense Council. Hopper's personal values and interests often informed his work. He was a firm believer in artistic freedom and often took on roles that challenged societal norms. Hopper's love for art and his belief in artistic expression were evident in his directorial debut, Easy Rider, which he also co-wrote and starred in. The film, which explored themes of freedom and individuality, became a cultural phenomenon and cemented Hopper's status as a counterculture icon. In addition to his work in film, Hopper was also a talented photographer and painter. His photography work often focused on capturing the beauty and diversity of the American landscape, while his paintings were often abstract and reflected his love for color and form. Hopper's personal life and values also influenced his approach to acting. He was known for his intense and unpredictable performances, which he attributed to his belief in staying true to his characters and their motivations. Hopper's ability to fully immerse himself in his roles made him a respected and admired actor in the industry. In summary, Dennis Hopper was a multi-talented artist who was deeply passionate about his work and his causes. His personal values and interests informed his art, and his belief in artistic freedom and expression made him a counterculture icon. Hopper's philanthropic efforts, particularly his support for children's causes and environmental organizations, further solidified his status as a respected and admired figure in the industry. Dennis Hopper's legacy in Hollywood is marked by his daring and unconventional choices. He was an actor who wasn't afraid to take risks, pushing boundaries in both his personal and professional life. Hopper's work in films like Easy Rider and Apocalypse now left an indelible mark on the industry, showcasing his versatility and talent. For those aspiring to follow in Hopper's footsteps, his advice would likely be to stay true to your vision and don't be afraid to take risks. In an interview, Hopper once said, I have no fear of failure because I learned a long time ago that failure is just another step on the road to success. This mindset allowed him to approach each project with a sense of fearlessness and creativity. Moreover, Hopper believed in the power of collaboration and the importance of surrounding oneself with talented individuals. He once said, I don't take a dime unless I think it's going to be great, and it's got to be with great people. This approach not only led to some of his most memorable performances, but also created a sense of community and camaraderie on set. In terms of future contributions, the landscape of acting and filmmaking continues to evolve, offering new opportunities for aspiring professionals. Hopper's legacy serves as a reminder that success is not only about talent, but also about resilience, creativity, and a willingness to push boundaries. In conclusion, Hopper's advice for aspiring actors and filmmakers would be to stay true to your vision, take risks, collaborate with talented individuals, and embrace the ever-changing landscape of the industry. By doing so, you can leave your own indelible mark on the world of film and entertainment. Dennis Hopper's journey in the entertainment industry was nothing short of passionate and innovative. Born on May 17, 1936, Hopper's career spanned over five decades, a testament to his enduring impact. Early on, Hopper's rebellious spirit and artistic curiosity led him to explore various aspects of filmmaking. He started as an actor, but his interest quickly expanded to directing and producing. In 1969, Hopper directed Easy Rider, a groundbreaking film that resonated with the counterculture movement and became a symbol of the era's social and political upheaval. Hopper's innovative spirit didn't stop there. He continued to push boundaries, taking on unconventional roles and experimenting with different film genres. His work left an indelible mark on the industry, inspiring future generations of filmmakers and actors. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, Hopper never wavered in his pursuit of creativity. He once said, I have no fear of death. My only fear is that I won't have enough time to do all the things I want to do.
This passion and perseverance drove Hopper to leave a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences today. In the end, Dennis Hopper's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the transformative power of creativity and the importance of staying true to one's artistic vision. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of perseverance and the ability of art to transcend boundaries and leave a lasting mark. Let's take a moment to remember the late Dennis Hopper, an actor who left an undeniable impression on the film industry. With a career spanning decades, Hopper's work continues to resonate with audiences today. From his breakout role in Easy Rider to his memorable performance in Blue Velvet, Hopper's ability to embody complex characters was unparalleled. His talent extended beyond acting, as he also directed and produced several films, showcasing his multifaceted prowess in the entertainment world. Hopper's contributions to the arts are a testament to his enduring impact on cinema. His work continues to captivate audiences, leaving a mark that transcends generations. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Dennis Hopper's legacy? What are some of your favorite roles or performances of his? Share your memories and reflections with us in the comments below. And if you enjoy our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful discussions on the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us continue to bring you engaging content that celebrates the arts and the artists who make it so special. So, step in and join the conversation.